Roman Reigns visibly upset backstage after WWE Survivor Series spot, and Triple H discusses Hell in a Cell event future during press conference. Additionally, WWE is reportedly planning a major show for January in India, and lots more. What's up, guys? It's Denise Salcedo, and I'm back with another episode of The Latest. And I got some news bits that occurred over the weekend to talk about here today. Additionally, with some stuff that came out today, we're going to go ahead and kick it off with a recent report from Fightful Select regarding Roman Reigns. Take a look. According to a report from Fightful Select, Reigns was said to be visibly upset backstage regarding what he perceived as an unplanned spot that involved him and Kevin Owens. Roman Reigns was overheard saying he may have a ruptured eardrum, and it was clear to those who witnessed the scene that he was not happy with what happened. Roman Reigns also did not take part in the Survivor Series press conference, even though he was scheduled to appear. Talent spoken with Fightful indicated they did not believe there would be any extended heat from what happened, and that Reigns' reaction was likely due to the heat of the moment. It is not clear what spot was the catalyst for Reigns becoming upset. The only spots Owens and Reigns worked with each other during the match came close to the end. Owens slapped Reigns and then they exchanged strikes for a period. Roman hit a Superman punch and Owens hit a super kick, a pop-up powerbomb, and a stunner. Sami Zayn then broke up the pin leading to the finish where Zayn hit a low blow and the haluva kick on Owens. And following Survivor Series, there was a press conference. Here are some of the most noteworthy tidbits said from Paul Triple H Levesque. Take a look. One of the things that Triple H said regarding the Survivor Series was that it was the highest grossing Survivor Series of all time, as well as the most viewed. He also said that the event was a complete sellout with 15,600 in attendance. One interviewer asked about the reports that shows like Helena Sal and Money in the Bank would be moved away from being premium live events. Triple H said that he thought Helena Sal worked better as something where one person could challenge another to the match. Match types like Elimination Chamber and Money in the Bank couldn't be done the same way. Saying, quote, I think there's a difference there. I think we have to reevaluate that. It's really looking at the overall calendar and saying what is the best place to put this. What is the best way to entertain our fans? And keeping with Survivor Series, Fightful Select also reported that Brian Kendrick was working as a producer for the Women's War Games match, as well as Shotzi versus Ronda. Along with Brian Kendrick, Jason Jordan was also listed as a producer for those matches. PW Insider is reporting that Saturday's show was considered a tryout for Kendrick, and he has not yet been hired by the company. Kendrick worked as a backstage producer for NXT and 205 Live from late 2020 until requesting and being granted his release on February 1st, 2020. 2022. He was then scheduled to face John Moxley on the February 2nd, 2022 edition of Dynamite, but was pulled from that show after comments he made in a video posted in 2011 resurfaced. In the video, Kendrick makes several bizarre claims, including that Jewish first responders to the 2010 Haiti earthquake were reptilian and there to scoop up the body parts. Kendrick would later post the following to social media in response to his comments resurfacing, saying, quote, I apologize for all the hurt and embarrassment I have caused with my words. These are not my beliefs and never were beliefs of mine, and I crossed the line. I spread the most vile comments without thinking of the damage it would cause. I will live with this regret for the rest of my life. I am truly sorry for the pain I have caused. A major WWE show in India is reportedly taking place early next year. According to a report from Sportskeeda, WWE is planning to run a show on a grand scale with the most likely date being Wednesday, January 18th in India. The event would come almost a year after WWE Superstar Spectacle, which was filmed for the Indian market on January 22, 2021. Superstar Spectacle was part of the company's deal with Sony Pictures India. WWE and Sony announced a five-year extension in 2020 and revealed the deal would also involve the company returning to India with bigger live events. Saying, quote, superstars will visit the region for promotional tours to engage with fans. Well, that was today's episode of The Latest. Go ahead and let me know what you thought of these stories in the comments section below. And don't forget to check out more here on F4W Online.